A Botswana court has issued an arrest warrant for former President Ian Kama, who is facing 14 charges ranging from unlawful possession of firearms to money laundering. Kama was officially charged in absentia in April 2022, but has not made a single court appearance. But what really happened to this charismatic head of state who fell out with his hand-picked successor and current president, Masisi, forcing him to even flee to neighboring South Africa? Let's find out in this next report. He left office in 2018 after two five-year terms. His woes began almost two years after his exit, when his successor and Botswana's current president, Mogwetsi Masisi, promised to tackle corruption in diamond-rich Botswana, which has been seen across Africa as a beacon of stability and democracy. In 2020, allegations of money laundering and attempts to destabilize Botswana made against ex-president Ian Kama were baseless, and that's according to a British law firm, Omnia Strategy. Kama was accused alongside two others, a former intelligence chief and a South African businesswoman, of laundering more than 10 billion US dollars in public funds. Our hard-earned reputation of good governments and respect for the rule of law has now been ruined as a result of a very clumsy and irresponsible conduct and actions of a regime desperate to try and legitimize itself, tarnish the reputation of those targeted and settle petty political scores. And now, a judge is hounding the former head of state. A court in Botswana issued an arrest warrant for former President Ian Kama for the possession of illegal firearms. The judge issued orders that Kama should be arrested on site. He's facing 14 charges, including allegations of money laundering and handling stolen property. The warrant issued is only for the possession of five illegal firearms. He's jointly charged with the former heads of intelligence and police services, the arrest warrant follows Kama's failure to appear for trial earlier this year. It could pave the way for Botswana to seek his extradition from South Africa. Personally, I and the other victims of this farce will be instituting the necessary legal action against this regime. Kama handpicked Masisi as his replacement before he left office in 2018. But when Masisi came into power, he turned on his predecessor and his legacy. Since taking office, the current president has, among other things, controversially lifted a ban on elephant hunting imposed by Kama. In turn, Kama has accused Masisi of authoritarianism. Kama went as far as resigning from the ruling Botswana Democratic Party after Masisi was re-elected in 2019. The party was founded by his father, Saseretse Kama. Kama launched a new party, the Botswana Patriotic Front, and is reportedly at the center of an opposition campaign to oust Masisi in the 2024 general elections. Kama, the son of Botswana's first president, Seretse Kama, was the fourth president of Botswana. After serving as commander of the Botswana Defense Force, Kama ventured into politics and was the vice president from 1998 to 2008, before succeeding Festus Mogae as president in 2008. Kama was re-elected in the 2009 elections. He was elected again in October 2014, leaving office four years later after completing two five-year terms. Kama left the country last year for neighboring South Africa after falling out with his successor, President Masisi. Bureau Report, World of Africa.